What was something that happened to you as a child that you didn't realize was scary, creepy, dangerous until you got older? A clown came to my birthday party. I was two and the clown pulled out what us kids thought was a water gun, but it was a real gun. He proceeded to take all the mom's watches and purses and left. This was in Mexico. Everyone in Mexico loves clowns. They always have them here at the damn parades, parties, ECT. Clowns freak me the hell out. They always have grown as men in weird makeup. Then, the clowns here also do bachelorette parties as well as kids' parties. Which I find even creepier. Your story made me laugh. I'm sorry but it was so matter-of-fact and hilarious. It reminded me of my childhood. I was three at the time and have three older brothers. They were putting a flashlight in their cheek and laughing at the reddish glow it caused. I was the annoying little brother so they didn't let me try. So instead, I decided to put my mouth around a night light that was plugged in. I'm 25 now and still have a scar inside my cheek from the shock I got. Riding around with my dad as he drove while so drunk he could barely walk. This happened every weekend. I saw him arrested for DUI several times and know of quite a few other times he was arrested for the same thing. This back in the 1960s and 70s. Edit. From the replies to this post I find it amazing that we all survived our childhood. Nanny was supposed to pick me up form an after school thing I was doing. She was a bit late, so I decided to walk home. Thing is, the school was 6 miles from my house, and I had to cross two overpasses to get there, which I did while lugging my stuffed backpack. I made it about 5 miles before getting too tired and resting next to the sidewalk near the local mall, then this guy on a motorcycle asks if I wanted a ride. I said yes, because fuck walking in the surprisingly creepy home stretch to my house, and hopped on his bike. We ended up talking a bit, and I found out he was an armored truck driver named Ray, he dropped me off at my house, and that was the last I saw of him. My parents didn't find out until a few years later, when he showed up at the house, asking for some cash to buy his kid a Christmas present, mentioning how he'd helped me out that time. My retired neighbor told me I was pretty and tried to stick his tongue in my mouth. I was nine. I didn't understand it, but I knew I didn't like it, so I told my mother. She played it down but made sure I never went over there alone again. When I got older I realized how wrong it was and feel pretty lucky I got off that lightly. When I was about eight I was at a friend's house with her little sister and stepfather. Whilst we were having dinner she did something to upset him, when she got up to leave he backed her against the wall and with a closed fist tried to punch her in the face. She ducked and his fist went through the wall. I don't remember what happened before or after but I remember that moment vividly. When I was about six I got approached by the head teacher in school telling me I was special and he took me out of lessons for a day, locking me in his office to watch me do word searches and just sit there. He called me his little hamster. I didn't think it was weird at the time, Although I was just special, then I later found out years later he was found out to be a prolific pedophile and got sent to prison for abusing students. I was outside in the driveway while my parents were working in the yard out back. All of a sudden, a car drives by real slow and stops. This guy gets out and starts walking towards me, saying hi, where are you parents, and that he has something for me. I got up and ran to the backyard, and my father sees me running and confronts the guy. I remember him saying he was a child toy slash book creator and wanted to show me things. It still creeps me out to this day. What a weird guy that was. A man pointed a gun at me when I was six. I was in the backyard playing when two men walked by, I don't remember any details of their appearances, just silhouettes. They stopped and one of them aimed a pistol at me. I didn't feel any fear, but I almost nonchalantly stepped behind the nearest bush, like I knew what a gun was from TV, but didn't really grasp the idea of death as something that could actually happen to me. One of them said, ah never mind, or something in a similar tone, and they walked away. Straight up dangerous, jumped out of a Douglas fir tree from the top to see if the branches really did slow you down. They didn't and it really fucking hurt. Apart from a few bruises I sustained no injuries. 
was ridiculously lucky.